modeling agencies recruiting from refugee camps and not paying the models. Modeling agencies are recruiting young people from refugee camps in Africa and flying them to Europe for casting calls, but many of these models are returning to the camps without having earned any money, and are often in debt. The Sunday Times newspaper in the UK conducted an investigation into the practice, interviewing dozens of models who had been recruited from the Kakuma refugee camp in Kenya. The investigation found that many of the models had been promised a better life in Europe, but that they had been forced to sign contracts that left them with little or no money. One model, who was identified only as Ian, told the newspaper that she had been flown to Europe to attend a casting call for a major fashion brand. She was not paid for the casting call, and she did not get the job. She was then told that she had to pay the agency for the cost of her flight and accommodation. I was so disappointed, Ian told the newspaper. I thought this was my chance to escape the camp and start a new life. But instead, I'm back here with nothing. Another model, who was identified only as Mary, told the newspaper that she had been flown to Europe to attend a series of casting calls. She was not paid for any of the casting calls, and she did not get any jobs. She was then told that she had to pay the agency for the cost of her flight and accommodation. I'm in so much debt now, Mary told the newspaper. I don't know how I'm going to pay it off. The Sunday Times investigation found that the modeling agencies recruiting from Kakuma are often targeting young women who are desperate to escape the camp and start a new life. The agencies promise the models a better life in Europe, but they often leave them with nothing but debt. The investigation also found that the fashion industry is turning a blind eye to the problem. Many of the brands that use models recruited from Kakuma are aware of the exploitation that is taking place, but they continue to use these agencies. The modeling industry has a responsibility to ensure that all models are treated fairly and paid for their work. The fashion industry also has a responsibility to ensure that its supply chains are free from exploitation. What can be done? There are a number of things that can be done to address the problem of modeling agencies exploiting refugees. The fashion industry needs to adopt a code of conduct that prohibits the use of models who are recruited from refugee camps. Modeling agencies that recruit from refugee camps need to be blacklisted. Governments and refugee agencies need to work together to provide better support for refugees who are interested in becoming models. Refugees need to be educated about the risks of working with modeling agencies. By taking these steps, we can help to protect refugees from exploitation and ensure that they are treated fairly in the modeling industry.